So I'm in a lot of real estate related Facebook groups and I uh, follow a lot of real estate related stories and news and topics and things of that nature. Uh, you would probably assume that if you ever watch the show, right? Kind of like what we do here. Anyway, this thing popped up and I'm glad it did. Unfortunate, unfortunate for the landlord it happened to. But it's going to be a great teaching moment for us all, folks. A property manager uh, in New Jersey was charged with embezzling more than a million bucks from this apartment community. I want to talk to you about that story and the lessons we could learn, okay? Because there's some lessons to be learned here how other landlords can protect themselves. Let's unwrap it. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I am here to talk to you guys about real estate, right? In this particular show we have on Holton Wise TV is all about the bad stuff that comes out of landlords, comes out of uh, landlords' property managers, right? We have another show, Tenants from Hell, okay? That show's all about the bad tenants, right? Because there's a lot of bad juju in the real estate business, y'all. Real estate ain't sunshine and rainbows, man. Real estate can be a dirty, dirty business. There's a lot of unsavory people that you deal with in the real estate business, right? If, uh, you know, you're a landlord, you might be thinking, oh, it must be all the tenants that are all bad. Nah, you know. There's bad on both sides of the aisle. That's why I got the two separate shows. I wanted to highlight the worst of the worst on both sides. And today we're talking about a PM, right? PM, man, this guy. Woo! This dude, this cat. This can be a cautionary tale for y'all, right? Uh, property manager charged with embezzling $1 million from this apartment community in New Jersey, right? I work with a lot of investors from New Jersey, so... I'm very familiar with uh, what you guys got going on out there in Jersey. It's tough enough to be a rental property owner in New Jersey. I mean, the government is embezzling your money enough, am I right? But anyway, uh, so <clears throat> I read the stories, uh, some excerpts from, uh, you know, a couple of stories. Uh, an errant letter opened by a Hamilton apartment resident reporting the property owed $372,840 in back taxes and sewer fees led to a multi-year investigation ending with the property manager charged in a $1 million theft and embezzlement scheme authorities announced on Tuesday. Okay, Nicholas DePaula, 64 was indicted on Friday, April 1st. Long story short, uh, 12 crimes ranging from first degree financial facilitation of criminal activity. Yeah, that's tough to say. Let me try that again. Ranging from first degree financial facilitation of criminal activity. How many shells How many shells could Sally sell on the seashore? How many how many sell how many shells can Sally sell on the seashore? Peter Piper pecked a pickle of anyway. Uh, okay, so uh, he was charged financial financial facilitation of criminal activity as well as multiple counts of theft and failing to pay income taxes and filing a fraudulent tax return, the Mercer County Prosecutor's Office said, uh, blah, 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 blah. In total, DePaula embezzled approximately $1,149,784, according to the prosecutor. So this guy. DePaula, okay? He is alleged to have embezzled, stolen, whatever you want to call it, $1,149,784, right? So that's what happened. This story just broke. I don't have any additional information on whether or not the cat is guilty or innocent. I guess they were investigating him for like four years. I guess all the stuff happened between like uh, 2014 and 2018. Uh and it took them a year to investigate it, so they investigated it later, right, when that tenant got that letter, right? And I was like, man, if this guy did it, he's a bum, right? <laughs> now, whether or not this DePaula guy actually did it, I'm not sure. 
Uh, the prosecutor's office is saying that he did, right, over a million-dollar embezzlement scheme. I'm not sure. The only information I have uh, is based upon what I'm reading. Now, with that said, I think it's time that we discuss some things, real estate investors. There are a lot of bad property managers out there, and I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit, right? This story kind of highlighted to me what I need to highlight to you, how you guys can protect yourselves, right? And the very first thing is we need to talk about what bills you should pay versus what bills your property manager should pay, right? This whole embezzlement scheme, it appears, right, was only made possible because the owner of the property didn't pay these three things themselves, the taxes, the mortgage, and the insurance. Now, when you're working with the property manager, you want to make your investment as passive as possible. I get that. But you should never move over the responsibilities of these three things. You should always pay the taxes, you should always pay the mortgage, and you should always pay the insurance. Let the PM handle everything else. These are three very simple things to pay. You can put them on auto pay, and then most importantly, you can track if these three things are paid, right? Because obviously if your taxes don't get paid for years, you could be like that guy, and it turns out your property is about to be sold at tax auction, and you just got lucky you found it out because a letter accidentally went to one of the tenants and they turned everybody in, right? Allegedly. I don't know if that's actually what happened. Not sure, but that's what the article says, right? Mortgage, right? Same thing. If you turn this over, you think the PM is paying the mortgage, you're getting all the documentation every month showing that they're paying the mortgage, but in reality, they aren't actually paying your mortgage. They're putting that money in their pocket. You never have any idea till next thing you know, boom, you're getting foreclosed on. And then lastly, insurance, right? You know, it's really going to suck if you freaking had your building burned down, your building's worth like $5 million, and then you realize, oh, the insurance wasn't paid. These are the three things y'all got to pay. You pay these on your own. Just put them on auto pay so you know they're being taken care of. In my opinion, based on what I'm reading, if what I'm reading is true, the owner of that building wouldn't have had any issues if they had paid these three items instead of letting their PM pay it, right? On top of that, another thing that I think you guys really need to focus on, right? Because in business, especially the real estate business, like I said, there's a lot of unsavory characters. You'll never eliminate that, right? You'll never eliminate the risk of unsavory property managers, bad landlords, bad tenants, right? But what you can do is mitigate that, right? We mitigate the risks of bad tenants with proper tenant screening, right? You don't screen your tenants, you get more bad tenants than if you do screen your tenants. But if you do screen your tenants, that doesn't mean you're not going to get any bad tenants. You're just going to get fewer of them, right? That's how it works, okay? With property managers, I see it all the time. I see them on these forums, on Facebook, on this or that. Everybody and their brother is trying to figure out how to get the cheaper property manager. Cheaper, 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 cheaper. And I see people going through lengths, jumping through hoops, trying to find the cheapest possible property manager. Folks, wrong thinking. That's how you end up in this situation, right? Cheaper ain't always better, folks. You got to ask yourself, if there's 10 PMs, why is it that one of those PMs is able to charge a cheaper rate than the others? Are they not good enough? Are they not experienced enough? Or are they trying to rope you into something, right? Are they not licensed, right? I see real estate investors all the time talking about, oh, I don't care if my PM's licensed. Why should they be licensed? Why should your PM be licensed? Folks, I'm a licensed property manager. Do you know the state requires us to maintain non-interest-bearing trust accounts to hold your money as investors, to hold the tenant security deposits? And those accounts are subject to auditing from the Division of Real Estate in my state. Almost all 50 states have similar requirements, right? There are literally millions and millions and millions of dollars that transfer in and out of my company every single month of investor money. You're telling me that you'd be comfortable with all of your money 
all of your money going to somebody who didn't go through the process of becoming licensed and running a legal property management company. They've already proven they have no issue breaking the law when they're going to illegally manage your properties because you have to be licensed to manage properties for others in almost all 50 states. So you think they're running an illegal business? They're not dealing with any of the government regulations that are put in place to protect you. You think your money's safe? Folks, these are the kind of things I'm talking about. Just simple, simple things, right? Making sure your PM is following the guidelines. They are licensed. Step one, that's going to reduce a lot of bad actors. And then step two, you pay these things. I guess these could be step one, but you might as well make step one making them licensed to already mitigate the fact that they're bad. And then, boom, you pay these three things. It should be very, very unlikely that you become the subject of a news article saying that your property manager embezzled over a million dollars from you, folks. You don't want to be that person, right? I don't want you guys missing out on dollars chasing pennies. What are some other best practices you all have? Let me hear it. Managing the property manager, folks. What are some things you guys can do to make sure you don't get stolen from by bad PMs like has allegedly happened here in New Jersey with this cat DePaula allegedly stealing $1.1 million? Drop that stuff in the comments. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.